Okay, we are in an apartment in Hollywood, California, and we have our expert Ishkabibble researcher here. In the corner, we also have our IT tech who is working on some very important equipment for us. Please tell us He's what- He's only Russian though. He only speaks in like short Russian. He doesn't speak much. Da. Yes. So this is ish kibibble babble. I'm gonna need, if, I'm, if, if I am a researcher, I'm gonna need my, my papers. Does anyone have my papers of my ish kibibbles so I can show the pictures? It does sound like a really bad talk show. Okay, da. Apparently, we're going to babble speak about bobbles. Other than Russian. <laughs> we both bobble, but they don't bobble. Oh, oh, okay, okay. First of all, this is a question which has hey, bothered me for a long time. Okay, so if you, if you weeble wobble, but you don't fall down, does that mean that you do have good balance or you don't? You have good balance. Okay, well, I think we've solved. I think we we've solved that. that mystery. Back to my um, <laughs> research that about ishkabibbles, which is what this video was about. But thank you, we now learned about the weeble wobbles. <laughs> I'd like to just show you about an ishkabibble. Here is one, but not all of the types of ishkabibbles that are in the land. You may ask what an Ishkabibble is in a few minutes. We will get to that. But this is the common Ishkabibble. Common meaning not specific to general locales, which is where you will find them. May I turn the page, ma'am? Yes, please do. Also, we have an Ishkabibble with a description. We have gotten a description of the Ishkabibble. This is a brief description. Big ears. Good hearing. Large eyes. Teeth too big. And a wide smile. Here's, this is another general Ishkabibble. But they come in different types of bibbles which is why there is an Ishkabibble Bible that you can purchase for $9.99. All you have to do is call now on this right here, $9.99, you'll get the Ishkabibble Bible. But until then, I'm gonna introduce you to Mother Hayden, brother, Peppy A. Miller, who is age 11 to 13, Hayden is age nine to 11, the mother is 30 plus, and our Fenster Ishkabibble Guard IT. G-I-T. He may or may not be Russian. We also have a best friend, a father, Miss Ursula, and a group after Ursula. There is some bright pink trees in Ishkabibble land, which we don't get to visit. But Ishkabibbles are bibbly, bibbly. Bibli. So the Ishkabibble and the Ishkabibble father have a Bibli child. The Bibli children will have Bibli Bibli grandchildren. So an uh, Ishkabibble grandchild's a Bibli Bibli. Just a child's a Bibli. I'm not sure if the, pip, the p parents are just Bibbles. But the children are Bibli. Are you getting all of this? Mm -hmm. There's a lot of stuff on Yes, this. please do continue. We have mother, father, Trin and Jess. This is Woody. He has a bald head. And this is Kari, and she has a hat, earrings, and painted toenails. And we have painted nails on the little, and bows and undress on Trin. And this one has a tutu that's pink, and it says flip-flops, but then we question, do Ishkabibbles really have to wear any footwear? Since the real thing about Ishkabibbles that many people do not know, which I will tell you via Urban Dictionary, <clears throat> if you Google Ishkabibble folklore, you will come up with the Urban Dictionary, which everyone knows is the best dictionary ever in the entire world. And here's what it says. Ishkabibble is a creature that lives under cattle guards in German slash Russian mythology. 
Now, it's not interesting that the IT guy is also Russian. Perhaps there's more to this Ishkabibble folklore than we have led on. And I think it's up to us to get to the bottom of this. Are there Ishkabibbles living, hanging from cattle guards here in the United States? And if they are, how come no one's turned on them like we have the Russians? Why are the Russians putting Ishkabibbles in the United States? Were they planted here by the Russians? That's another conspiracy theory that back in the day, the Russians actually put the Ishka Bibbles here to spy on us, to know and steal our cattle secrets and take them back to their land so that they could have better beef. I even heard that they gave them to the Japanese. That's where they got Kobe. Ishka Bibble yes. sold us out. So, um, can you please explain your shirt? Oh, yeah, the Ishka Bibbles. What? Can you please explain your shirt? Yeah, skater dive. Woo woo! Oh, uh, roller derby till you. Are you being you paid by a roller derby team to make this statement today? No, but I would like to say if you are on roller skates and you are any place where there are kettle guards, be very cautious. <laughs> <laughs> and cut. <laughs> At least we still have somewhat of an audience here. Time. <laughs> you guys, I kind of feel like this is like the last video, like when I watch like ID, uh, like 48 hours or people investigates, like this is the, <laughs> the, last, the last video. Turn it on yourself though, because this is where s and just happened. <laughs> and then exactly. The, then the dominatrix came and got her. She didn't like the Bible Bible story. <laughs> Invasive species that come in <laughs> with the Russian cattle guards that you Slash buy. Slash Germans, hence the name Fenster as one of them. It's like when you don't hose off your boat when you go from lake to lake and you get zebra mussels or cardboard plants or whatever. Oh no, you have to totally flush out for that. There's a basement somewhere. So you can't well, yeah, so maybe, maybe they just came in on the, on the Eastern or Russian cattle guard. Maybe they were placed there as. Oh, they were secret spies. That's a good theory.